Okay, so today we're going to talk about the question that I get a lot, which is why can't I draw on printer paper or bond paper or your school or office paper? That question is asked all the time, and oftentimes I see students that have drawn on that kind of paper when they're actually trying to apply for something important like getting into a fine art school for middle school or high school or college. And not only is the paper quality not very good, but it's not going to preserve your artwork in the same way that artist quality paper will. So let's take a look at some different images and I'll show you the differences between those papers so that you can see them for yourself. Bond paper or printer paper, school notebook paper or office paper, and artist papers are all made out of cellulose fibers from a plant like wood or cotton. They also have a bleaching agent to make it white. They have something called a sizing agent, like gum or rosin or starch, to make the paper stronger and water resistant. Then they have mineral fillers like titanium dioxide that are also added to prevent something called strike through, which is when your ink shows on the back side of the paper. And those mineral fillers also create smoothness. They also could be used as a buffering agent so something like kaolin, which is clay, or calcium carbonate, which is chalk, that change the pH level in the paper so that the paper is more alkaline, keeping it from being too acidic. When your paper has acid in it, it will yellow over time and become very brittle and fragile. Here's a drawing that I made when I was probably about nine years old. And over time, the white of the paper has turned to a dark beige. You don't want this to happen to your quality drawings that you spend a lot of time on or want to preserve. You would hate to sell something on a piece of acid, um, on a piece of paper that has acid in it and then know that that's going to not preserve over time. So you always wanna seek out a paper that says acid free or archival quality for anything that you want to, to do your best drawings on. The other problem with printer and school paper is that it's too smooth and thin for drawing and the paper itself will produce wrinkles from the pencil layers. So the smoothness of the paper means it has less tooth of the paper. The tooth of the paper develops in the paper, paper making process and there are high and low spots in the paper that give it some texture. The texture acts like sandpaper, scuffing off the smooth graphite when you're applying with your pencil. So without much tooth to the paper, the pencil has to compress the paper more to adhere to it. And then you're gonna get these like wiggly wrinkles in your paper as you've applied the shading because it wasn't thick enough or toothy enough to hold your graphite. And it got really squished and compressed and stretched out as you drew. So you basically need to invest in high quality artist paper in order to avoid these problems as you draw. So that's why you want to invest in a thicker, sturdier paper and not a thin, floppy, full of acid paper for your artwork as you draw. I hope this helps you out and let me know if you guys have any questions.